everyone, Daisy here again with another Quilters Vibe with Sarah and Daisy. <clears throat> Today we are using that awesome pattern that Sarah picked out um, that I had posted at the beginning of the video. And I decided to use this paper that I found in my stash. It's an October afternoon paper and it is um, from the Heat Wave collection, I believe. Let me get the paper strip right here. It is from the Heat Wave or no, the paper is called Heat Wave. It's from the Summertime Collection. So I thought that the pattern in this lent really well to a quilt pattern. So I decided to cut out each one of the little kind of triangle shapes. Now these are not squares. These are rectangles. So I am going to struggle with this a little bit. But I didn't want to kind of change the pattern. Now I didn't have enough of one color um, to go all the way around like that diamond shape. I'm kind of doing a very loose interpretation of this um, one just because I was so determined to use this paper. <laughs> so I'm really focusing on that outer kind of diamond shape. And here I thought if I cut them down into squares it would be easier, but then I realized that the triangles aren't going to be even. So then I'm like, that's not going to work. So I'm going to snip apart each one of the triangles here and sort them by color and then start practicing um, kind of my layout here. So while I'm doing this, I wanted to share. So on my table there, you see kind of that it's like that off-white color um, or yeah, I guess off-white, and then it's got the white paper in the middle. Well, the white paper in the middle is actually underneath. I found this ama amazing product. It is a plastic poster board. I found it at Hobby Lobby. It was $1.99, I believe, and it is waterproof. So I thought that was perfect to cover my table with. Um, and so far, it has really stood up to everything. I have gotten some ink on it, and I wiped it up right away, and it didn't even stain it. So just if you're looking for something to protect your tabletop, I feel like this might be an awesome solution for it. And then all I did is I slipped a little piece of paper underneath of it so that I knew where I had to place um, my layouts while I was working on them for my video. So anyway, back to the layout. Now I am laying, so this is the opposite side of the paper, this little pattern that I'm working with here. And so I'm laying it out, and again, because they were cut into rectangles and not squares, they don't match up perfectly, but I'm really liking where this is going. I had to make it smaller so that it would fit into, you know, a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So I'm just trying to figure out how to lay out these pieces um, in order to make them look somewhat square, you know, like a quilt would be. Um, and I figure by leaving a little gap in between them all, it makes it look more like they're in straight lines. So then I'm deciding that I want to include all of the pink and yellows little triangles too. And then what I did is I went through and I stitched with some gold thread and I did, um, it actually ended up being more of a kind of star pattern than that cool intertwine pattern that was um, in the original inspiration, but I really love how it turned out. I love the stitching. I think it looks awesome. So I'm really happy with this. And again, it's not that we have to follow it like super closely. It's just however we interpret that onto our scrapbook page. So I figure this is perfect. So this photo is an older photo of Evie. Um, just a cute little shot that we have. Um, it's really not anything special for like a story or anything. So yeah, I'm just layering up a bunch of different October afternoon bits um, and also, you know, some of the off cuts from what I didn't use from the pattern paper. And I'm loving how this turned out. The photo I did, it was actually black and white. Um, and so I kind of put a filter on it to give it more of a creamy yellow tone um, just because I felt like it went a little bit better with the October afternoon papers. But then I did leave a white border on it because I did want it to stand out from everything else. The background paper I chose to use is actually, um, it's not a stark white. It's a 
um, 80 pound cardstock from Cardstock Warehouse and it's called True White and it is a little bit off white and then it has some like speckles in it like it was recycled paper is kind of what it looks like and it really went super well with the October afternoon stuff. That's always my struggle with using some of this older product is that the colors like the whites aren't quite as bright as they are now and you know the colors are a little bit um like especially October afternoon, like there's a lot of creams and stuff and I always struggle to use them. So this was a perfect um, opportunity to use this True White Paper by Cardstock uh, Warehouse. So as I was talking, I was just putting together some little bits. Again, these are all from October afternoon. Just glued them all down. And I'm staying in this um, yellow, pink, and gray color scheme. And so now I'm pulling out these wood um, they're like butterfly buttons and I got them in a secret not secret kit club um, a f quite a few months ago and they're colored on one side but I chose to use the wood green or wood veneer side because I thought it went better with my layout and then I am using these sequins and these are from Spiegel Mom Scraps and they are called Morning Glow I don't think they're in the shop anymore, but they have these really large iridescent sequins that are kind of an off, again, an off white kind of color. So it was perfect for this layout. And they also had some little pink ones that matched really well. And then I'm just going to come in with a title and I'm going to use some gold thickers that I got from Target, actually. They're American Craft thickers and they aren't as... I feel like they're not as great quality as other thickers, but they're really, I guess they're not thickers. They're American Craft Alpha stickers. So um, they're really beautiful. I love these ones. And I'm just going to say Beautiful Girl is my title. So if you haven't already, head on over to Sarah's channel and check out what she created. Um, it's gorgeous. She did a much better job at following the pattern um, that it had to have taken her forever, but I absolutely love what she did and you should head on over and check her out. And then stay tuned because we will have another one of these next month, I believe. So I will see you again next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.